Okay, well, good morning. These guys still are not even 24 hours old yet. Um, but I wanted to do a quick update. Um, this little guy here is the only male. And um, he's got tiny spots on him. It looks like his head... Um, well, of course, he's got this spot on the top of his head. It looks like his face is going to have a mask, a red mask. These spots that I'm looking at, um, if you look real close, they look like they're under the fur. And as these guys get older, these colors should start to pop out. Um, they, um, even though they look brown to you, um, expecting them to be the same color as the these two females, um, which is red. You can kind of see it on his her her ears. Um, her coloring is way under her fur, but uh, you'll see over the next couple of days this will start to come out like this, and this spot here will come out even more. So I'm expecting these guys to be red parties. That's my guess. Um, chocolate pigment. And sometimes that follows with the green eyes or the amber eyes. Um, now that's my guess. Their eyes won't open for another two weeks. So we'll see. But the, usually that's very attractive. If you don't know the difference between a party and a pied, a party is these two where the body is more than 50% white. And a pied, they would have um, more patching and... Um, they, their body would be um, less than 50% white um, with spots uh, or patches. This little girl, um, you can see she's got the white boots in the front and the tiny white mark on her head. I haven't named anybody yet. This will be our W litter. Um, she's um, red with white feet. Um, this little girl, last born girl here, um, and by the way, this little girl, red girl, was the second one born. So we had, um, the three girls born first and then a boy, and we, of course, we weren't expecting this fifth one. Now, I have a couple of dogs that are this color, um, and I'll, if I can remember, I'll attach, um, I'll attach a picture, a picture of their brother, um, so you can see what he looked like, he looks like now. But um, they genuinely usually hold this color. This color might get a little darker, but if they end up with the chocolate pigment and the amber eyes, um, it's just, um, they're very attractive. It's hard not to look at them. Um, you can see that she has a little bit of a white stripe down her back. Um, whether that stays or gets darker, I'm not sure. Um, and she's got a little mark on her, on her forehead. Um, so why don't you get in there? I guess he's, um, she's had enough to eat. I'm going to have to really look at these guys. You can see that she's got dark masking around her eyes. And so does he. That'll get darker as their hair comes in because they're just like little, I don't want to call them little rats because that sounds awful unless you love rats. Um, I used to actually raise rats. So, um, they are actually pretty smart animals. Um, and here is another red female. She was the firstborn. Everybody is, was about six ounces, except for this girl here. She was seven ounces. And of course the boy who was over five ounces. Um, this girl is red, red sable. I'm going to say little, a little bit lighter than her sister. And she doesn't have, she has the white feet, but they're not socks. Um, maybe in the back she might end up having one sock. She's got a white chest. And um, <laughs> I think she's going to be a little bit tinier than her sister, but you can see that she's not quite, oh boy, they're fighting already over the who's drinking where. Uh, so these guys are eating very well, and um, they haven't gained weight yet, so I'm going to weigh them again. But her milk hadn't come in. We did a quick run to the vet um, because I wasn't happy with how I tied off their um, umbilical cords. She kept pulling on them. But when we got to the vet, she said that um, I actually did a, a good job. So 
Um, and, it, you know, their umbilical cords will fall off. Uh, probably by this time tomorrow, they'll probably be off. So um, that's it. I'm going to come up with some names. There are five pups. I believe five or six people picking. Um, and so we'll see how everything um, lines up. Let me know if you are no longer interested. Um, get off. Let me see if there's a, yes, come here. There's a thing back here for you. Okay. Here. Uh, if you're no longer interested, um, let me know. I know some of you are gender specific. If you want to talk about gender or color or have any questions at all, you know, feel free to give me a call.